Why wait? Don't ever try to predict what sort of videos I'll post on this channel, because the other day I learned about the manhole cover we launched into the atmosphere because we decided to bury a nuke. And I want to talk about it. For people who don't know the story, let me summarize it in the dumbest terms possible. Not because y'all are dumb, but because I am. In the 1950s, America was testing and developing nuclear weapons so that if an enemy dropped a nuke on us, we could counter by throwing another nuke at it, basically saying, no, uh and blowing it up midair. Understandably so, the American people got kind of fed up with the government constantly testing nuclear weapons in the desert and in the sky and in the ocean. So eventually the government was like, okay, fine. So we won't test nukes in the desert or in the sky or in the ocean. But you didn't say anything about testing nukes underground. So they went with that. So in 1957, we dug a hole and placed the nuke underground. Then we put a bomb on top of that nuke, put some concrete above that, and to top it all off, they put a manhole cover as the lid and sealed it up. Now, nuclear weapons have safeguards so that if they aren't deployed properly, they won't blow up and just kill everybody. Tests like this were to see how accurate some of this was. Because sure, we didn't want our nukes to accidentally kill us, but we also wanted to shoot an enemy nuke out of the sky. This test was called Pascal B, a near copy of a previous test, which could be a video all on its own, and was part of Operation Plum Bob. They proceeded with the test and the nuke did detonate, but since this experiment was sealed, the pressure and heat kept building and building until it shot off the manhole lid at a speed faster than the speed of sound. And we know it wasn't instantly vaporized because they had a high speed camera running. This camera took a thousand pictures per second and the manhole cover only appeared in one of them. With this photo, it's estimated that the manhole cover was traveling somewhere between 125,000 miles per hour and 240,000 miles per hour. Another estimate is to say around 37 miles a second. A quote published in a 1992 issue of Air and Space magazine says, based on his calculations and the evidence from the cameras, Brownlee estimated that the steel plate was traveling at a velocity six times that needed to escape Earth's gravity when it soared into the flawless blue Nevada sky. Y'all, it would take an hour for this thing to reach the moon. It takes us three days. Three days! The numbers are so huge on this that I can't come up with an easier analogy to understand it. But here's another one anyway. It takes us 10 years to reach Pluto. This thing would make it there in 18 months. This test took place in August and therefore it beat Sputnik to space, making it unofficially the first man-made object launched into the stratosphere supposedly. Y'all, this is just crazy to me. In 1957, we're still trying to decide who's a real person, and then we're over here launching chunks of metal into the heavens. Now, you can find all this in more wild stories from the Fat Electricians video, which is where I heard about this in the first place, but what no video wants to talk about is where the manhole cover ended up going. Now, don't come at me in the comments and say that it burnt up in Earth's atmosphere. I have two arguments for that. Bean, I'm recording right now. One, this isn't some asteroid skimming across the atmosphere being ripped apart by air friction. This was launched into space at a speed so great not even gravity knew what was happening. My second argument is this. Shut up, you're no fun. So assuming that it made... <laughs> So assuming that it made it past Earth's atmosphere, where did this thing go? To solve this puzzle, the first question I need to answer was, where did this take place? A quick look at Google tells us that it takes place 65 miles northwest of Las Vegas. So I went to Google Maps and went 65 miles northwest of Las Vegas to find a mysterious looking place called Sugar Bunker. Then when I Googled Sugar Bunker, the website literally tells us all this, so the whole first part of my research was unnecessary. The second question I needed to answer is, when did the launch take place? According to this fancy nuclear weapon archive website, the test took place around 10 p.m. Next, I used the star chart and entered August 27th, 1957 for Las Vegas at 10 p.m. Looking straight up, we can guess that our pioneer manhole cover was launched toward the Canis Vena... Oh, I didn't look up how to pronounce this before I started recording. Canes Vena... TC... TC? TC... Hang on. I was so off. Canis Venatici. So I went somewhere toward the Canis Venatici constellation. Now, it may just look like a line to you, but that's because you're not creative. Clearly, it's a dog. Then I started to wonder how far away it would be by now. So I continued my research, but it took the wise people of Korra to remind me that the sun exists. Everything in our solar system is affected by the sun's gravity. The manhole cover would be no exception, meaning it would be out there orbiting the sun with us somewhere, unless it got picked up by another planet like Jupiter. I don't know. In conclusion, the more I read into this, the more I realize how small a chance there is that it actually survived to make it to space. But if it could survive a nuke, then I have faith it could survive the critics online and make it into space despite their facts and logic. 
I don't actually normally say this in the videos, but uh, thank you for coming to my TED Talk and uh, subscribe if you want more. Uh, I don't even know what kind of content I put out anymore. But uh, but 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 if you want more random content, like the video. Maybe maybe like the video. Maybe maybe you just you hate that little thumbs up button so much, and you just wanna you just wanna mm, you just wanna smash it. Like not like wait, you just wanna like hit it. You wanna click it, and you yeah. Is this convincing you to like the video? <laughs>